Singing in a studio is different than singing on stage. On stage you live in the moment. Small mistakes or sound imperfections just pass and are forgotten. A studio recording will be played again and again. And even the smallest mistakes will eventually be noticed. So we want a studio recording to be perfect. We want the best possible performance with the best possible sound. And that's why we need the best possible microphone. Welcome back to the Neumann Home Studio Academy. In this tutorial series, we're looking at how to record great vocals at home. In the previous episode, we set up a vocal session. Right now, it's time to talk about the microphone. What makes a great vocal microphone? And how do you select the perfect microphone for your voice or for the voice of the singer that you're working with. One minute more to do the things I've never done. Finding the perfect vocal mic entails more than just comparing data. It's like choosing an instrument, something that complements your talents and lets your voice shine. In a studio, vocals are usually recorded with large diaphragm condenser microphones. Why not small diaphragm condensers, you might wonder? Well, small diaphragm condenser microphones are usually used for classical recordings because they grasp the sound of the vocals exactly like it is in the room you're working in. But for rock, for hip-hop, for anything pop, we want something different. One minute more to do the things I've never done. Large diaphragm microphones add a little flavor. They have a tendency to make the voice appear bigger and more interesting. They have a flattering quality and an inspiring sound that enhances the performance. And that's what makes a really great vocal mic. Because what we want to capture is not just sound, we want to capture emotion. One minute more to do the things I've never done. The key to a great vocal recording is making the singer feel confident. So it's a good idea to select the vocal mic together with the singer. Question is though, what should we be looking for? What should be our criteria? One minute more to do the things I've never done. If you only ever used a uh, dynamic stage microphone, a microphone like this, a cheap, large diaphragm condenser microphone, may sound very impressive at first. One minute more to do the things I've never done. So much bass, so much treble. It's quite impressive. You can stop the clock, but please don't stop my heart. But later, you may notice that this sound is very difficult to implement into your mix. Because this microphone may sound a bit artificial, a bit colored. It may sound a bit overblown. And um, yeah, you want to try to find a microphone that sounds natural. You can stop the clock, but please don't stop my heart. As an engineer, Look for solid, defined mid-range. That's where most of the voice information is located. Look for pleasing high end, for instance, P's and S's. Yeah, the, the P's and the S's and the T's, consonants like that. Make sure they don't pierce your ears. Because harsh treble and fuzzy speech consonants, they're pretty much impossible to fix in the mix. So. As an engineer, try to find true detail. You can stop the clock, but please don't stop my heart. As a singer, look for a microphone that feels comfortable. 
that sounds good in your headphones and that makes you want to sing. Trust your gut feeling. Yeah, as a singer, you want to try to find a microphone that sounds like you. You see, pop music is about letting people know how you feel. So you want to find a microphone that translates the way you hear yourself, your inner voice. You can stop the clock, but please don't stop my heart. The ultimate vocal microphone, the one that is right for you, is the one that lets other people hear the sound in your head. So much for this episode. Um, next time we will be comparing several vocal microphones. Until then, enjoy recording and we'll see you soon at the Neumann Home Studio Academy. Bye. One minute more to do things I've never done. All I need to